Hello and welcome to today's edition of Stockwatch. My name is Luca. I'll be serving as your host for today's video podcast. And I'll be featuring a company called BioSolar based out in California, while also highlighting their stock, which is ticker BSRC, and uh, having an emphasis that this stock price could potentially be a 10x multiplier in the future. And what that basically means is that if the stock price is 10 cents, it's probable it will go to a dollar, 10 times 10, right? And the reason for that is because this company is very exciting to watch in terms of where they have been in the past and uh, what they're basically doing currently and in the future. Now, with that stated, uh, before I discuss any kind of uh, visuals with their stock, I am not a financial advisor. Uh, all my opinions are that of my own, and uh, there is some inherent risks with investing in stocks, so please be forth advised. Now, before I show you some stock charts, I'd like to just go over really briefly what BioSolar does in less than two minutes, and what the entire allure is for this company and its stock. It's basically a very small boutique research and development company. Uh, that's comprised of the brightest minds in science as well as in engineering. When you have that combination and you have an all-star team of scientists and engineers working together to basically bring green products over to the market for mass production and manufacturing or for license agreements, you have to make sure that whatever it is that you're working on is tested, retested, calculated correctly. There's no margin for error. Uh, we're talking about uh, products that are in the, the solar energy sector, in the lithium ion battery sector, and in the hydrogen sector. Okay? So they research and develop green products to bring to the market, and they want to have it patented so they can protect the products where they spend all this time, energy, and money to, to basically produce. Okay? The company was founded in 2006, and it, its roots began with looking at the solar energy sector and taking a look over at uh, building a new solar panel backsheet. And I'll discuss more about that a little later. But for right now, that's really where the roots came from and how it began its footing. Once the company, which took eight years to R&D and, and, and apply for a patent for a solar panel backsheet, once that whole process ends, they shifted and pivoted over to bringing another green product over to the market, which happened to be lithium ion, a super battery. And this becomes very interesting, and this is where the potential of the stock can be a 10x multiplier, if not more. Uh, in 2020, they wrapped up their R&D and submitted the last of their patents to the U.S. Patent Office, and now they are waiting for a response, which can take years. It could take one, two, three years to get a response. So it's all a process where once they finish with their research and development, their prototypes, and they submit a patent, they go on and pivot over to a new product that they could focus on, which in the future, for 2021, will be to produce green hydrogen. They will be changing their name to New Hydrogen from BioSolar, and uh, that's being conducted after uh, 15 long years uh, of research and development. So. They have a laser focus in the future for hydrogen, which is going to be a very large player in uh, environmentally green uh, products in the future. And that's why this company is exciting to watch. The stock is going to be exciting to watch. And let's just take a look at where the stock is sitting right now in terms of price. Again, it doesn't really matter what the price is. It's traded in the penny stock market because there's no revenues to date. Uh, because of the reasons that I had mentioned, they are building their uh, products and protecting their products, which takes quite a significant amount of time and capital, uh, legal fees, so on and so forth. 
once they have the patents in their hands and they can cut deals, licensing deals, they can cut manufacturing deals, all kinds of different deals, which will bring them in forthcoming quarters and months a high potential for uh, massive earnings. So that's where it becomes exciting. But the stock is sitting just shy of five cents. So I highly believe the stock will go to become a 5x multiplier uh, within the next 90 days. So that basically means it will jump over to 25 cents from 5 cents. I do believe that the stock is going to be a 10x multiplier from 10 cents and go to a dollar. Now, interesting fact about this stock is that in June of 2020, June 6th, the stock was selling for 0 0.005 cents. It was a subpenny stock. And it had reached uh, in January up to 16 cents. But when the stock actually rose to 10 cents, it had a gain from June 2020 to January at 10 cents, a gain of 3,500%. I want to repeat that. This stock has had a gain of 3,500% in seven months, June 2020 to January 2021. So that's very, very exciting, and it looks very promising as a, a potential foreshadow for the future. Okay, let's go back over and, and go behind the scenes of what's the team, the management team, who are they with BioSolar, and before I talk about who they are and give you some transparency about the people behind BioSolar, let's really talk about teams in general. Everybody loves sports of some kind. Everybody likes music of some kind. A music, you have a band, you have different people, they play different instruments, but they are a team. And when you have a sports team, basketball, baseball, it doesn't really matter. The more all-stars you have on that team, ultimately, what, what does that team do to other teams? That team basically is, becomes a champion team because everybody, on an individual level, is an all-star and uh, is basically as, is extraordinary as an athlete, as a musician, so on and so forth. So this is the most exciting aspect of BioSolar. Everybody who is associated with this company is a corporate academic all-star. And let's go ahead and introduce you to the management at BioSolar. The company was founded by Dr. David Lee in 2006, and you'll see, this is the timeline uh, at the very top of the header here, and, and you'll see the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Diamonds, and the, the Ace of Clovers. I gave them the, these Aces because I, I truly believe this is what they're holding if, we're, if they're playing a game of chance in terms of their future. With all the hard work that they've done, they started the company... Uh, with, with a great merit in mind, which was to bring a product to the market, which was a green product in with solar panels that had to do with solar panels. Well, let's take a look at a solar panel and what Dr. David Lee's thoughts were in 2006. This is your basic solar panel, and it's got these different uh, parts to it, you know, glass, uh, solar cells, so on and so forth. Well, there's something called the back sheet, which is here in this visual. And the back sheet back in 2006 was manufactured by uh, DuPont and I believe it was predominantly kind of a monop monopoly at the time. They had created a material for this back sheet and the material was made out of toxic uh, materials which also has toxic byproducts. So the belief was at the time that you really couldn't um, you, you couldn't take the technology at that time for these solar panels and modify them too much because they had evolved over years and years and years. But this back sheet was interesting because the theory is that let's try to create something that is environmentally friendly and also can be competitive in terms of its endurance and its purpose uh, in, ma in the actual solar panel itself. And so that's how the company was started and that's the significance of the name bio solar all right so I've already kind of discussed the uh, the timeline here as dr. David Lee 
built a team which I'm about to introduce to you. They finish one project and they're going to move on to a new invention which takes years and they also have to have the right people involved as it's diversification. It's not all a solar panel here and then let's say a solar inverter and then like a solar converter. They will diversify from solar energy over to battery energy and storage and now diversifying into hydrogen. That's not bad. They're still under the umbrella and sector of energy. Okay? So all of that is very good, kosher, legit, and exciting. This is their website. You can go over to their website at biosolar.com. I encourage everybody to do that and check it out. These are the officers that have been uh, with the company pretty much from its creation or its launch in 2006. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Lee. And Dr. Lee has a extensive experience, 30 years in engineering and marketing, sales and corporate management. Very impressive resume. What I again, what I really love about this company is that the officers and everybody associated with this company have got such a double-edged sword on the academic side and on their corporate uh, level as well for experience. He's got a PhD and a master's and a bachelor's, all uh, in electrical engineering. He's a boiler maker, a Wolverine, and a Texas Longhorn. He's very impressive. Uh, a year later, after Biosolar was uh, launched uh, in 2007, uh, we have Dr. Stanley Levy uh, came and joined Biosolar as the VP and Chief Technology Officer. Very, very impressive background. He worked with DuPont uh, 27 years, and he holds 12 patents. I assume that's 12 patents for uh, DuPont, but uh, I'm just uh, speculating, so I apologize about that. Uh, and he's got a PhD, Master's, and Bachelor's in Mechanical Engineering. Uh, from UConn and University of Rhode Island, great schools. Here we are uh, now in 2006 from the beginning. We have a director that joined Biosolar, uh, Stephen Bartling. And uh, Mr. Bartling has got a lot of experience with Texas Instruments since 2002, uh, over 30 years of engineering and corporate management experience. He works with um, uh, microprocessors and semiconductors and uh, received a master's in electrical engineering from Georgia Tech, go Yellow Jackets, and a bachelor's in electrical engineering, also a Texas Longhorn. And again, no turnover. All these individuals have been with the company for such a very, very long time. And that, that in itself is such a great attribute. You don't have turnover of uh, key individuals. You don't have uh, turnover of what the company is doing. If they're diversifying, it's still under the same sector of energy. These are all aligned to be uh, very, very productive for the stock and for the company in the future. Mr. Dennis Lapon is another director that came on board in 2006. He's got a little uh, different uh, background, most mostly in finance. And so he is actually a, a CFO. Uh, since 1991 for Catalyst Resource Group, a very impressive uh, amount of uh, financial corporate experience, 45 years of experience. He's got an MBA from Fabulous School, uh, USC, and a Bachelor of Arts from California State University at Northridge. And let's go ahead and move on to advisors. Now, they need to have these scientific advisors because, again, the products that they're uh, bringing over to the market has to be backed uh, with the brightest uh, of minds in science and engineering. They got the engineering part covered, all in-house. And some companies, there's some energy companies where the CEOs that you'll see all come from business backgrounds and they're going to outsource all of their uh, key knowledge. So they could be a boutique company very similar to this. A company and the CEO could have absolutely no background in science and or engineering and of course they're gonna to have to hire some some top guns uh, if you will or some guns uh, to to work with them to, to build out whatever product they have that's the beauty of biosolar everybody's already in-house the engineering is part is taken care of they already know the entire realm and world of engineering and the science part it's fascinating with biosolar because 
when they start getting into their products, they work with uh, institutions of higher learning, which we all call universities and college colleges. And uh, these universities and colleges don't have to work with anybody. Okay, so for them to pick and choose a, a small company like BioSolar to work with is extremely impressive. But not only that, the scientific advisors that have worked with BioSolar in the past and present are amazing. They, they really are outliers. They're so extraordinary in their uh, backgrounds that uh, when you start looking at what this company has been doing, what they've been working on, what the future is, will be, you can't help but be excited for this company, right? But with their scientific advisors, they have uh, Dr. Charles Carraher, who is currently their, their current scientific advisor. But with the lithium ion batteries, they actually had a Nobel Prize winning scientist work with them. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Okay, there's two things about uh, this presentation that I want to repeat. They work with a Nobel Prize winning scientist with the lithium ion batteries and that their stock went 3,500% gain in only seven months from June 2020 to January 2021. Okay? All right. So now you can, I'm sure you all can, can understand that I'm, I'm really elated and excited that they have these individuals that have been associated with this company because that's going to be reflected in, of course, the stock and the future of the stock price. All right. So let's go ahead and, and visit Dr. Uh, Charles Carraher. And uh, again, you can find all this information on the website. I will read very briefly his very impressive uh, duties at what he does with uh, BioSolar, uh, which is his primary areas of research related to BioSolar business include high strength materials, geomembranes, identification of materials, biomedical and bioactive materials, conductive and semiconductive polymers, thermally stable materials, and high temperature superconductors. Now, I don't come from a scientific or engineering background, so uh, to me that's very impressive. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. And uh, hopefully I have presented that when you are talking about an all-star team uh, and you look at BioSolar, there is no shadow of a doubt that they have an all-star studded team of scientists as well as engineers, all basically in-house, which, uh, again, is, is going to translate to uh, the company's future, potential uh, earnings, and uh, the stock price, of course, rising, rising, rising. There's a great little interview that you can find. It's a great read. I highly recommend it. You just go to Google and, and type in Keen for Green Space Bio Solar. And you'll see a result pop up. It says interview with Dr. David Lee. I encourage everybody to read that. It, it, it's a, a really good read about when he started the company. And I think everybody will enjoy that. That stated, uh, I will be concluding uh, today's episode of Stockwatch. Thank you for listening in to today's video podcast. I will be releasing part two and part three uh, in the upcoming weeks and part two will go over all the the players that uh, were pivotal and in, in instrumental in developing some of their products, namely universities as well as the scientists uh, as well as the Nobel Prize winning scientists for the lithium ion super battery. And then part three, we'll go over patent licensing and partnerships, uh, their potential to have earnings. And that's where this 10x multiplier becomes interesting and highly probable contingent upon they get the patent uh, from the U.S. Patent Office for their lithium ion super battery. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again.